Hello everyone, it's Vera from Rudy Visuals and in today's video we are going to check out the soon to be released Luminar 4 and give you our first impressions and whether we think this is a good alternative to Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. So see you after the intro! So a very common question that we get asked on this channel is what photo editing software should I use? Now typically we use Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop as these are the considered the industry standard and probably the most widely used. But there are actually a lot of really good viable alternatives out there. Lightroom and Photoshop are excellent tools in their own right but admittedly they do have a steep learning curve which can be intimidating when you're first starting out. They also require an expensive subscription which for people on a budget can be an annoying hurdle as well. So when the people over at Skylum Software gave us a chance to try out the beta for the soon to be released Rumino 4, we thought this would be a great opportunity to see what it would be like to work with photo editing software outside of Adobe. So in today's video we're going to go over our first impressions of Luminar 4. Now if you want to try the demo of Lumina 4 for yourself, you can use our affiliate link in the description box below. So right off the bat, the first positive thing we can say is the price. Right now you can pre-order Lumina 4 for just $89 and don't forget to use our coupon code REVISUALS and you can get a further $10 discount. That's not a yearly subscription fee or anything like that, you pay a one-off fee and it's yours forever. Compared to Lightroom and Photoshop, that's already a big chunk of money you'll save as these require a constant monthly subscription. Next, let's talk about the user interface which I found to be really user friendly. Everything is organized neatly into sections, for example you can see how clearly everything is arranged and labeled. Your tools are grouped into specific panels such as essential tools for basic edits, portraits for specific portrait editing tools and a pro panel that includes more advanced tools like the dodge and burn and split toning. I also really like that at the bottom you have a panel with all the preloaded essential presets that show you a little thumbnail preview so you can quickly scroll through your presets without having to hover over them to see what they would look like, like in Lightroom. This can save you so much time and it gets rid of the tedious process of trying to find a style that you like, especially if you have a lot of presets like me. <laughs> Luminar 4 also has a really nice and simple photo organizing feature where you can create albums and add folders from your hard drive so you can easily manage and go through your photo library. In general, I found my first few hours with Luminar 4 much less intimidating and more intuitive than when I first started using Lightroom and Photoshop, which can be quite daunting to learn from, especially if you're completely new to photo editing software. This is why I think Luminar 4 is an excellent tool for beginner photographers in general or for those of you who love to shoot but are less into photo editing. So let's talk about some of the cool features that Lumina 4 has that really stood out to me. First of all, in the Essentials panel, there are really cool AI features that pretty much do all the heavy lifting for you. For example, the AI Structure tool is a slider that automatically analyzes your images, looking for areas that may need more detail, but only where it's needed. The AI Sky Enhancer tool that automatically finds the sky in your image and gives it a dramatic look. I also really like the details enhancer which allows you to control the sharpening of small, medium and large details separately. Next in the landscape enhancer I found the golden hour slider really interesting as it can basically adjust the tones of your photo as if it was taken during a golden hour for you. There is also a foliage enhancer which intensifies all the green areas. In the creative tab probably the most interesting tool here is the AI sky replacement. This is a really powerful feature that analyzes the image and looks for the sky automatically creates a mask for you which you can then apply a range of different sky presets to. I do think that this is a really useful tool especially if you use it sparingly. I really love this feature but be careful not to add a sky that doesn't match your scene. Now as someone who primarily shoots portraits the tab that I was most interested in was the portrait tab which features some very useful tools to make editing portraits more user friendly. To begin with, we have the AI Skin Enhancer. This features a slider that softens the skin as well as a tick box that automatically removes the defects from the skin, like spots and visible marks. And I can't stress how much time this saves you compared to doing it manually. However, if you do prefer doing it manually, this can be done through the canvas panel with the Erase tool. The Portrait Enhancer offers a lot of useful features for making quick adjustments like eye and teeth whitening, eyebrow improve, which defines the eyebrows, and even a lips reddening slider. Again, these are all things that I would have adjusted manually, so being able to do this with just a slider makes it so convenient. 
Finally, for those of you who want to make more advanced edits, there is also a pro panel which gives you access to tools such as dodge and burn and split turning and advanced contrast. The dodge and burn feature is really user friendly. You literally just have to click on the start painting button and it gives you everything you need to improve the tonality of your image. So here are some before and afters of photos that I have previously edited with Luminar 4. moment the only major concern we have is that Lumina 4 did run a little slow on our 2018 Dell XPS 15. This is with a 7th gen i7 and 16GB of RAM. However this is a beta and we have been told that further optimization improvements are in the works so hopefully this will be improved in the full version. So in summary my first impressions of Lumina 4 are really positive. I really enjoy the user interface and how intuitive everything is. It's very enjoyable to use and not at all intimidating. If you're new to photography or you're a photographer that enjoys taking photos more than spending hours actually editing them, you can definitely take out a lot of the hassle by using Luminar 4. In fact, for me, the biggest strength of Luminar 4 is the way it turns long and tedious processes like masking into a simple click and slider. But even with its beginner friendly interface and tools, it still features some sophisticated tools for professional photo processing. Another useful feature is that it can still be used as a plugin within Adobe products for people who want to combine Luminar's tools with Adobe software. If you want to try Luminar 4 for yourself, you can download a free demo that gives you access to some of the features for you to experiment with. You can help to support this channel by using our affiliate link in the description below to download the free demo. You can also pre-order Luminar 4 right now and don't forget to use the coupon code RUDYVISUALS for a $10 discount. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and if you like our channel, subscribe to us for more and make sure you do follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we'll be posting more images edited with Luminar 4 and I guess I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye bye!